I think I finally got it. So you can see my setup right there. Gonna try to put this pulley on last. See how it happens. So I put one clamp here on this line, lined it up up there. Put another clamp over here on this one, lined it up, let the boost the T-belt hang loose right here. Put this idler pulley in last. Put it all the way down here, down along the crank, lined up that line with this little hole, but more importantly, focused on, on this part of the crank, that lining up the two notches. Up here, didn't want to mess with taking the tensioner back out as I already had taken it out. And um, But if you also, another trick to get more looseness on the belt is to uh, not put in the tensioner till last so that this has a little bit more room. The pin's still in, but uh, even if you just wait to put it in last, you'll have more room to wiggle. So I got all this on, and then last I went for this. And what I had to do was get this started and then move this one a little bit forward to take up some slack, slip the belt on with this very loosely started and then work them both in as I tighten this. So these, these timing belts are kind of difficult in that they're hard to get the belt on. So tips and tricks are wait to put the tensioner in till the very end or wait to put that idler in till the very end. So I'm gonna spin it around and pray that uh, the marks line up. So I just rotated the crank twice around and you can see on both cams the lines line up. Do not worry about the belt pointing in the wrong direction or with the lines pointing in the wrong spot. That's normal. You'll never get the belt to be exactly the same or I take that back. It will be the same at some point but after many, many rotations. So all you're looking for is that the cam lines up here and here and at the same time that crank lines up that's it that's all you care about